Hello students, in this lecture we shall study about a specific number that is called Euler number represented by small e. You have come across this number many times in your physics formula and mathematics formula. Then today we shall study about this specific number. What is its value? and what is its significance etc et please see the video till the end first we will take what is the value of this number this number is equal to 2.718281828 so on it is never ending it cannot be exactly represented by a fraction number. So it is a irrational number. It is a irrational number. Now we come on to its definition. What is its de definition and significance? in our studies in mathematics, physics and other subjects. Even in finance it is used. How, why, how it is used in finance and uh, in the uh, other subjects we shall study it. Definition is, it is a mathematical constant at a mathematical constant. Okay. which has value this second is it is a base the base of natural logarithm And third point is, it is used in calculations or problems of exponential growth. Exponential growth or uh, exponential uh, decrease of a function then we use it what does it mean exponential growth it means that rate if a function is then rate of growth of this function depends on the value of x present value of x with the value of x value of e x as x increases e x rate of change of function uh, growth that also increases now we come on to how ha we have calculated its value see its value is e is equal to 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 by 1 into 2 plus 1 by 1 into 2 into 3 plus so on 1 by n factorial or we can say that it is 1 plus 
वन बाय एन एंड लिमिट व्हेन एन टेंड्स टू इनफिनिटी एंड इट कैन बी रिटर्न एज वन प्लस वन बाय वन फैक्टोरियल प्लस वन बाय टू फैक्टोरियल प्लस सो ऑन प्लस वन बाय एन फैक्टोरियल एंड इफ वी सी ग्राफिकली सी ग्राफिकली इट कैन बी सीन दैट इट इज जीरो वन टू थ्री देन वैल्यू ऑफ ई विल लाइ हियर दिस इज ई एंड इफ वी ड्रा द फंक्शन ड्रा द ग्राफ ऑफ दिस फंक्शन वी टेक इट एज it as the value of n increases value of this function increases and at infinity this function approaches the value of e so this is how it is this value has been derived now we come on to other point that is it is the base of natural logarithm see log of e based e if euler number is taken as base then it can be written as ln x and see that log of you know all know that if 10 is the base then log 10 of 10 is equal to 1 and if we take log of e 10 then it will be it will come out 2.303 so this is natural logarithm is 2.303 times if we multiply uh, base 10 logarithm then by 2.303 we get natural base ln x so it, it is multiplied by natural log, uh, log 10 is multiplied by 2.303 then we get the value of natural logarithm now we come on to its applications and before we come on to application we take see if we plot a graph between x and e x then it will come out somewhere like this and this is ex then its slope is also ex it means that derivative of this e raised to the power x with respect to x is also ex this is another property of this 
function. Now I come on to the function, what are, uh, where it is used, how it is used. See, if we want to get a future value, future value of an asset, fb, let it represent by fb, then it will be pv, pv is the present value, and into e r t e raised to the power r t here r is the rate of interest rate of interest and t is the time so this growth is exponential growth and E is used to calculate the future value of an asset, of your investment, anything, and that will be given by this formula. And one now we come to Euler formula. Euler's formula. What is Euler's formula? Euler's formula is given by e minus i x is equal to cos x plus i sin x where i is an imaginary number imaginary and x is any real number so this expression is known as Euler's formula and if we take x is equal to pi then we go, go get e i pi plus 1 is equal to 0 this is called Euler identity So students, uh, this is uh, the uh, lecture which I have explained you what is the significance of this E to represent a function which grows with the, uh, whose growth rate is increasing exponentially with the change in value of the value of x and now this finishes our lecture. Before I finish, I request you to please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.